If you're struggling with the tuck planche, I want to share one of the most beneficial exercises you should be doing in your training. I did this when I first started training and I believe it is seriously underrated to build strength for the planche. But first, let's discuss the problem you're facing. When you just start training for the tuck planche, you're in this weird stage where you know you need to be doing the tuck planche to get better, but you can't hold the tuck planche for very long. It's like training for pull-ups when you can only do one or two pull-ups. How do you get stronger at the thing when you can barely do the thing? It doesn't make much sense to keep doing one rep maxes every training session. To help bridge this gap between short tuck planche holds and longer tuck planche holds, I would recommend adding dynamic exercises into your training. Don't just grind away at planche leans and near max effort tuck planche holds, especially if it's just one to three seconds. Give yourself a little help by doing L-sit to tuck planche hold. I like this drill because it gives you a little bit of assistance into the tuck planche hold, and because you're transitioning in and out of it with an L-sit hold, it helps to build the straight arm strength that's often lacking in the early stages of your training. And honestly, it can just be a little bit more fun to do than just endlessly grinding tuck planche holds. Here's how the L-sit to tuck planche is done. Start in an L-sit hold, tuck your legs in towards your body, and transition into a tuck planche hold. From the tuck planche hold, Undo it all by lowering down and untucking your legs back into an L-sit. If you find this drill difficult, do the transition quickly to give yourself some momentum into the tuck planche hold. If momentum is a crutch that you're never really focused on taking out of your training, it can be a bad thing and leave you forever plateaued. But if you're honest with yourself and use it as a tool, it can give you the little bit of assistance that you need to push yourself to the next level. So if you want to use momentum as a tool rather than a crutch, focus on slowing this drill down over time to gain more control and to decrease the amount of assistance that you're getting from momentum. If you're only able to hold the tuck planche for a short amount of time, that's fine. But with each set or training session, really focus on trying to increase the hold time in this position. You want to gradually make the switch from swinging from the L-sit to the tuck planche position to clearly showing three distinct phases to the drill. The L-sit, the transition, and the tuck planche. In this stage of your training, I highly recommend recording yourself during your workouts to measure progress, record hold times, and identify obvious mistakes. How you feel while doing this drill will be quite a bit different than how you look, so use your phone's camera to your advantage. The last thing worth mentioning here is your base level of strength it may be why you're struggling with the tuck planche. It's very common for beginners to want to jump directly into skills without a foundation of strength, but if you're not strong, you're not going to be able to do calisthenic skills. The tuck planche may be a beginner level calisthenic skill, but that doesn't mean it's easy. It's beginner relative to the other planche progressions. Some are easier than others, but they're all hard. If you struggle to do 30 strict push-ups or 20 dips in a single set, you're focused on the wrong goal. You need to learn to walk before you can run. Grind the basics. Push-ups, pull-ups, dips, rows. Master those exercises. You should be able to do them comfortably with control using a full range of motion. Then, and only then, should you begin to focus on calisthenic skills like the tuck planche. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you find this drill helpful in your planche journey. And I hope it's something that you incorporate into your planche training. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and maybe even subscribing to the channel for future videos just like this. If you guys have any questions or requests for future videos, please feel free to leave a comment below. As always, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.